um, I just got back from um, from my kids' nursery because I ended up doing a session where um, from well, travelling to Sri Lanka and Barbados over the last couple of months and all the filming we've been doing like under the water was like um, you know in Sri Lanka with the National Park, Yala National Park and all and elephants and leopards and peacocks and everything like that to film the turtles and in Barbados with the reef and everything so I know she was like oh it'd be great to see those things so I took it in and it's just like these kids are just they're so amazing so we, we went through all of them like they were seeing all the videos they were looking at the fish the picture I had um the video I had of the sea snake going through the coal from Sri Lanka they absolutely loved that one um, as well as all like the elephants and stuff because they all have like their favourite animals and things and we were talking about you know how important the sea is and you know I was telling them about Uncle Luther and stuff being a fisherman and going to Barbados and how Barbados being so special because it's an island made of coal and cause all these like tiny little creatures that make you know these beautiful beautiful um well what sea make plants kind of thing and um and it's just it's just astonishing really and um I don't know, so we were drawing like um, pictures af after we've like been in Chester and we went through, we took the book that my sister took, um, what was it? This was amazing. <laughs> Do this book that my sister gave my, um, gave the kid for, for his birthday and um, yeah, I just, I don't know, I never thought like I'd be good working with kids. But their curiosity is astonishing. They're ruthlessly, brutally honest. You know what I mean? They're not interested. They just walk away. You know, so to have so many of them, I think by the end of it, I think 10 to 15 of them have done pictures. I mean, you're talking about three-year-olds, man. It's amazing. Some of them draw pictures of me and we're doing like, you know, um, what is it? Jellyfish and and sharks and whales. And it's so... Uh, I don't know. I, I, never, I never thought when I film or do things you know what I mean necessarily think of the impact that it has on others so much of it is just my own curiosity so when you see like a bunch of like kids just kind of absolutely fascinated and falling into this kind of like underworld the way that I just kind of like fall in love fall in love um lust fall in um fall in love with it and my fascination just draws me further and further in and the minutes and then the hours go by and I don't even notice you know so to see them having that same curiosity and fascination in it, it just bubbles off your own excitement as well. And then they're showing that. And I just think, I don't know, I just... Definitely something I want to get more experience in, but it's awesome. Just awesome. And, um, you know, making sure that they're saying, you know, make sure you get rid of real rubbish and everything. And if you go, you know, and you have a picnic with mummy and daddy, blah, 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 that he has to go back in the bin and all this kind of stuff. And... Um, I think I was watching the Dynasty series, Dynasty series that the BBC did, where they've been following, they've been setting up um, this time of this series as looking at dangerous species, but look at them as family. So it's lion, chimpanzees, I watched the, I think it's the Emperor Penguin I watched. And I've been researching for a brief, and one of the reports that feeds into the brief that I've been reading notes a lot of that, this idea of like art and empathy and how through storytelling and essentially narrative that um, and through that kind of, particularly if it's, it has some element of being performative or some kind of kind of action of, of falling into it, that your connection is grown and deepens and, and the learning capability expands and trying to think of interesting ways of 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 creating like that kind of environment you know for this one it's particularly using like new technologies and stuff to create these kind of environments to engage like children as well as families and adults and um all of it just connected together with what was happening with with the kids and and through seeing that through them their fascination and interest with it then grows connection then grows this kind of empathy with something else that they see in like want to know more about and obviously the idea of putting it in their place or understanding someone else through their story so through my stories of traveling to the Caribbean and, and now Josh being there as well 
um, you know, the kid seeing like my kid on the beach and stuff and they're looking at him because they know Josh and then through Josh they kind of it was another entry point into like the stories that we were talking about today. And um I just think it's um really makes sense. Like whatever happens with that brief, the reading I've been doing for it, it just the the kind of um social action or engagement or or just um I don't know, the 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 kind of clarity of 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 artists agency and devices or strategies to encourage then relationships essentially kind of the ecologies of people engaging with their environment through creative practices and stuff like that it's just it's all just kind of felt like it clicked today you know I think you know well I was also up from about 4 30 because the kid woke up still a bit jet lagged and I just, I just couldn't go back to sleep so I was like right let's crack on then so it's been a really interesting day a really interesting day I never think of myself as someone who's um who's necessarily really good with communicating with children, but the more experience or the more opportunity I get, I guess, to do that, I kind of think that maybe, maybe I'm stronger in that area than I thought, really. Um, you know, kids are polite. I mean, sorry, adults are polite, kids aren't. So, yeah. I want to try and do more to expand his engagement with with that you know what I mean and then linking it to things like you know we were talking about swimming and stuff you know obviously that's that's like a life skill that's so important whether you enjoy the sea or not you never know when you may when you may need that you know and I was just like I don't know just something clicked today man a lot of the reading I've been doing and stuff it just it just clicked I just I don't know it's great that it's clicked but I also feel like there's a deluge of work ahead of me but you know when isn't there you know you're always trying to manage that aren't you so yeah I guess we'll see but yeah I just wanted to share that man because it's just like <laughs> kids love the crab crab claps you do something cool or really good you get the crab claps or both yeah they love that <laughs> anyway um yeah try and do more of the catching collective moments and chatting about what's in my head with whoever you may be I guess yeah mm. anyway I've had crack on and got to go back in my six <laughs>